All right, Joe, I'm here with A.J. Roke, head coach of the Jersey Bearcats, also co-owner of the Bearcats and co-owner of the AAL and AL2. A.J., first and foremost, congratulations on tonight. Long time coming, but you must be excited. Uh, it's a bittersweet day, bittersweet day. You know, the league, you know, we haven't played ourselves in two years. You know, we're excited. We're just excited to be back. Also excited to see these guys back on the field. It's just, just football, period, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, I wanted to ask you first before we uh, discuss this game about the league itself and the impetus behind starting the AAL2 as opposed to the AAL, obviously rebranding, restructuring. Give us a little bit of the thought process going in, creating the AAL2 and what it means for the long term health of the AAL and the AAL2. So before we took over, people used to say, you know, the AAL didn't have, you know, all pro teams. They had semi pro teams. So we wanted to split that. Right. So there's no, uh, you know, um, we lost the word. Um, right. Developmental versus pro. They want to be split. You got basically yeah. got to have a split. So keep your semi pro teams together. You don't want to lose those teams. Right. You know, keep them together. Give them a place where everybody's together. Make the professional professional. And if you're not professional, then you can't be AL1. You got to be play AL2. You know, we got to keep it structured. Have to. We want to build and, and, you know, build this thing to where we think it's going to go. Got to. You know, we've got to separate them. It's got, just got to be that way. Absolutely. And as far as the Bearcats are concerned, AJ, obviously you've been with this team since the jump, having created it from scratch. And just like you mentioned, you've been off the field for some time, obviously with the rebranding initiative and, of course, COVID derailing your seasons. So to get back here, it's almost like a, a fresh team, a new team. Can you talk yeah. a little bit about the, you know, of building this team again? Yeah. So from our last team, we have four people that are left. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is brand new, so you know that's that's really a big thing for us because we're used to having the same, a lot of the same guys coming back. So to start fresh, you know, new season, new league, you know, two years later, you know, it just it just feels good. You got you got new people, new faces in here, so you know we're very excited about this team. You know, we we always say we had some good teams back in the day, but I mean this team here we had we're really really excited. We got players from you know high level Division One down to NAIA schools and every school in between. So you know we're excited. Absolutely. And as far as on the field and what we'll see tonight, I know expectations are always tempered. This is the first game of eight. But if you're doing your thing, if the Jersey Bearcats are playing their brand of football, what does that look like on the field? Looks like a win for us. You know, it looks like domination, you know, and, and us just taking over the game like we like we know we can, you know, and, and that's the plan, you know, tonight. Absolutely. And, and how important is it, Coach, to really get the fundamentals down in this first trip out here uh, on this field, getting in and out of the huddle quickly, getting the plays relayed. How important are those little things in a game like this? Um, for us, honestly, we have a lot of veterans on the team from, you know, different leagues. So for us, we're not worried about the fundamentals. We're, we got guys that are past that part. You know, we don't we don't want you coming here with, you know, have to get past the fundamental part. When you're trying to get to the pro level, that's what gets you cut and not to that level. So that's how we treat this is, you know, it, it's professional. And if you're coming here, you better know how to play football and arena football because that's what we're going to expect. If not, you just can't be here. Excellent. And final question, AJ, your opponent tonight, Steel City Stampede, not a lot on tape uh, for them, at least for for, uh, for our broadcast is concerned. What do we expect from Steel City uh, tonight? What do you have to do well in order to get, get a win tonight? We, we, got, we have to play our game. Um, we have to make them play us because they're, they're a solid team. They, they've always been solid. Um, you know, they don't, the Reading Raptors, you know, no longer a part of the league and no longer playing. So a lot of their players went there. Um, they have still some, have some of their, their their players from years. So it's, we know their players, that they're, they're this team very well. But now they're all together instead of one's on another team, one's on this team. They're together now. So to me, that makes them better because it's your better players of each team together. Right. So, AJ, first conversation for us, one of many uh, this season. Good luck tonight. Yes. Absolutely. Head coach and co-owner of the Bearcats and the AAL and AAL2, AJ Roke. Joe, we'll kick it back up to you upstairs. All right, Joe, I'm here with Stephen Cologne, quarterback of the Jersey Bearcats. Steph, you know, you guys have been going hard since March. I know you couldn't wait for this day. How excited are you for tonight? I'm pretty excited, man, to see my new teammates, young boys, older guys, all to come together and ball out. So I'm really excited about tonight to see what we got. So there's eight games in the season. This is step one of eight. What are you looking for here to set the tone early for the season? Uh, I'm just looking for us to like play some clean football, you know, just maximize the, the practice plays that we ran over and then just see what we got. You know, our first swing at it, see what we got to work on, what we need to get better on as we just move forward. So 
Absolutely. And Steph, you know, we're used to seeing you in the outdoor game, arena football, a little bit different, a little more of a controlled environment. Tell me about the nuances as a quarterback between the outdoor game and inside here in the rink. Uh, what I would say, though, the major difference, 11 on 8, so that's really big. The game is faster with a motion, man. So it's about getting the ball out a little bit quicker because of less space in the tighter areas you got to throw the ball. So just that alone right there just makes you play a little bit faster indoor than outdoor. Absolutely. And, Stefan, you know, you've had a lot of time with a lot of the skilled players running the offense. What are you excited about with some of these young performers, some of the guys you've been working with for some time, some brand new to, uh, for you? Who are you excited about to hook up with tonight? I mean, I, we got about like three or four of them. I'm excited to see what they got. Some of them are younger. Some of them is my first year playing with them. So it's all about like us just coming together. So I'm really excited to see every position come out there and see what we got as a team, as a big cats family. Absolutely. And uh, Steph, last question. I know everybody is excited, wants to win a championship, but people are trying to keep their excitement in check. It's just the first game. But inside, how badly do you want to win this game and set the tone for the rest of the season and put the rest of the arena football world on notice? Uh, I mean, this is a big game for us right here. The team that we're playing against is pretty good. They've been around each other for a little while, so they're not no joke. But if we could come out here as a young team and put it all together and pull out a win right now, that is, let us know our ceiling is way higher than we thought it was. Absolutely. Steph, uh, always fun to watch you play. Good luck tonight. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Absolutely. That's Stephen Cologne, quarterback of the Jersey Bearcats. Joe, we're going to throw it back up to you upstairs. All right, Joe, I'm here with head coach Matt Santiago, also owner of the Steel City Stampede. Uh, coach, I'll ask you the same question I asked A.J. Roke on the other side. Must be really excited to finally get back onto the field, a brand new season in the AAL2. Yeah, it's a little interesting. It's uh, We're last minute. We were the last team to sign to come in because they were down a team. So uh, A.J. reached out to me, seeing if I wanted to bring my team in. So I was like, uh, we'll do it. I only had a month and a half to prepare. Right. Not like everyone else had more time on their hands than what we had. But as you see, we got a team together. Right. We're going to make it happen. Absolutely. And as far as making it happen on the field, if you're doing the kind of things that you want to do on the field, what does that look like for us? Probably domination if we want to. <laughs> if they let us do what we want to do. Right. If they're going to let us do what we want to do, which they shouldn't let us do what we want to do, then it's going to be a long night for them tonight. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, Coach, as far as the uh, the league itself, you get eight games. This is the first test of eight. What do you want to see with this team as the season goes on? Everybody wants their team to improve as the season goes on. By the end of the season, what would make you happy with what this team accomplishes? The bonding. As long as they, as long as they bond with each other. Because when you play football, that's like your brother, to your left, to your right. If they, if they didn't get that family bond while playing, all that eight games before was for nothing. All right, that was Matt Santiago, head coach and owner of the Steel City Stampede. Coach, best of luck tonight. Yep, thank you. Excellent. Joe, we'll throw it back to you upstairs.